For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. Shangri-La State Park was a very relaxed campground located in Ocala, Florida. This is a horse park and many of the campers bring their horses and riding gear. They are pretty relaxed about checking out. We arrived at the park early and there was a large parking lot where we waited until check-in time. The person in our site was still out riding her horse when it was time for us to check in, so we had to wait until she arrived and pack up before we could get to into our site. We talked with the campground host and he explained that many of the horse campers were slow to leave and this was the norm in the park. Just something to keep in mind if you visit the campground. So Joe, where are we? Start off with a hard question then. Uh -huh. Where are we? We are south of Ocala in Florida at um, Shangri-La Campground. Mm -hmm. And we've, well, we've been here seven nights. We're going to be here tomorrow night, or tonight, and leave tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, this is a Florida State Park campground, but it's the only one I know of that doesn't have any hookups at all. Mm -hmm. And cost just about as much as the ones with hookups. But um, we've been doing okay. Uh, we had to fill up with water twice, I think, with our five gallon drugs, jugs, maybe just once. But then um, we've had to run the generator pretty much every day for about an hour because while it's been sunny, the, our site is almost fully shaded. So we get very little s solar. So it's been okay running the generator like an hour, hour and 15 minutes to mm -hmm. go from maybe 60% up to 90 some percent to absorption mode. <laughs> um, so. What do you think of this trail? Well, this is, well, it's an equestrian campground, so there's a lot of horse trails. But right now we're sitting on the Florida Trail, which is uh, walking only. You can see the Got orange. The orange things it goes from South Florida all the way out to Alabama I think it's like 1300 miles so it's been good that we've been able to walk here on this trail there's a little loop trail spur trail that leads up to it that's marked in blue so yes Florida trail is orange and blue colors gator colors <laughs> he had to mention that seen horses, bike, there's a uh, bike trails, uh, mountain bike trails specific mm -hmm. to them, and there's specific equestrian trails. There's a uh, paved road that goes through the area that is, I can't remember what it's called, but... We'll, we'll put the name of it in, yeah. Yeah, but it's, and it's long. Mm -hmm. um, I know this part of the Florida Trail goes to the bridge that goes over I-70, Wildlife Bridge. Mm -hmm. has trees and stuff growing on it. I've been on that bridge and you know people with horses can go through there so there's several different um, trailheads along this route that people can stop at and and Shangri-La campground is one of the trailheads. Trails are clearly marked. You can either, um, there's trails for horses, for bikes, or for people. And we're on one of the walking trails, which is nice. So this appears to be another campsite over here with a table. It looks like maybe there's some posts to tie up horses. The trails were fun to hike with lots to see. Hikers left messages on this table for others to read, and there were stones with positive messages along the trails. I have to show everybody my new backpack. It's a bagalini.
This is our backpack that we're taking with us hiking from now on. It's very lightweight and it has all of our medical supplies in it, bandages, band-aids, ointments, anything we need in case we get in trouble hiking on a trail. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.